Today we are going into a demo to understand how do we design fact and dimension tables, how do we understand what are measures, what are attributes and how do we differentiate and design our facts and dimension. Consider this is a billing invoice. What information do we have in a billing information? You see we have order ID, we have order date, we have some customer info like customer ID and customer name, we have shipping address, billing address, then we have product line items that we purchase suppose we purchased a product of price 10 of quantity 5 so the subtotal is around 50 and we have 5 rupees as tax for example similarly we have product b and product c so these are our line items for order okay now other than this what information we can have in a bill we can have store information the store id which is selling the products along with the store name the biller info the person who is doing your billing okay so if we just go and we check the information that we have right now so this is the information that we get so we got order id from the information we get order date product id product name so this is product id product name we get the quantity we get the price of the product we get the subtotal we get the tax we get the customer info ID and name, we get the shipping address, we get the billing address, we get the store info such as store ID, store name, billing ID, biller ID, and biller name. So, these are the basic information that we can get from a bill. Now, the question is how do we design a warehouse to cater our needs? Okay, so before designing a warehouse, the first thing that was required is what is the KPI that we are going to use for this so what kpis can we have in a billing info we can have how much what is the total sales you can say just we can make it simpler we can what is the total sales total sales according to store now we can uh, drill it down to per day if we wish okay we can now since this is on date we can roll up we can go for per month and we can go up to years okay so we can roll up now what more information can we have we can have total sales uh, per product okay now again we can do this uh, with what is the total sale that a uh, uh, biller has done means how much bill a person has made in total sales okay we can give him increment or we can give him bonus according to it so this is this are certain of the kpis that we can determine from this information okay now since we have determined our kpis let's start identifying the measures and the attributes from the information so order id since this is a attribute Again, order date, that would be an attribute. Product ID is an attribute. Product name is an attribute. Quantity is a measure. Price is an attribute of the product. Subtotal is a measure. Tax is a measure. Customer ID is an attribute. Customer name is an attribute. Shipping address attribute. Shipping billing address attribute. Store ID attribute. Store name attribute. Okay, now we know what is a measure and an attribute in our data, right? Now we have to segregate each type of data together. Okay, we'll start with product. So what we'll do is we will bring and we'll create a product dimension since we know attributes resides in dimension. So what we'll do is we'll do our product dimension first. So the, what will be the information? The information will be product ID and product name and we have price okay this is one now other than this what what more we can have a dimension this is one dimension that we created okay other than this uh, we have customer customer dim salt yeah what information do we have we have customer id we have customer name 
okay other than this shipping and billing address are also customers part right so we'll add shipping address and billing address to customers dimension okay now other than this what do we have we have one more dimension store okay so what is the information that we have from store store id and store name other than this we have one more uh, dimension that you see is the biller information okay so what we do is we'll do one more biller suppose biller dimension we'll say it biller we'll have biller id and biller name ideally biller is an employee of that organization right so we usually cater employee as a uh, biller dimension but right now let it be biller so other than this what information is left we have order id order date we have quantity we have subtotal tax this all are remaining right we can create order id and order date as a dimension but that is not required because order id is a information is a line item okay so that's the information so that would reside in the fact itself and this type of information which is an attribute but still it resides in a fact we generally call it as a degenerated dimension we'll look into degenerated dimension when we talk about degenerated dimension so this is an attribute but it resides into the fact table the reason is it does not require its own dimension table okay so what information we'll have in the fact we'll have odd id will have order date again order date would connect to one more dimension called date dimension that i forgot okay this is our order date this will connect to order date so we'll have date here this is our dimension again order id will connect to quantity we'll have subtotal okay i'll remove and i'll put it down and we'll have tax we'll have one more dimension date dimension okay uh, this is our date dimension our order date will remain here but since date dimension is a generic dimension we'll connect date dimension with order date okay so this is date okay now we have to connect this fact we have to connect this fact right with each of the information because this order is connected to product customer store and biller and date right so to connect this so in order to connect what usually is done is we usually keep keys that are connected right so we have something called surrogate keys okay these are called surrogate keys each dimension will have its surrogate keys and those keys will be populated in the fact table so suppose we have a surrogate key for product dimension called prod underscore red okay this is the surrogate key which will prod point to product dimension we'll talk about surrogate keys when we talk about uh, slowly changing dimensions so for customer we'll have customer red which will connect to customer dimension now for store we'll have store red which will connect to store dimension for biller will have biller bid okay these are all surrogate keys the for primary key foreign key okay and we'll for date right we have order date right we'll remove order date we'll keep order date bid okay which will connect to date dimension okay now if you see this is our complete fact okay uh, if you see this looks like uh, I'll, I'll simplify it how it looks like simply so it becomes like this our ordered fact is in center we are connected to product dimension it is connected to customer dimension it is connected to store dimension it is connected to biller dimension and it is also connected to date dimension okay now if you'll see this looks like a star 
right so this is why this is a star schema okay so this is how a simple data warehouse is designed this is a simple design of data warehouse where we found out the information from a bill we determined what would be our kpi we identified measure and attribute then we segregated and differentiated between different dimension and store and then we designed so this is our overall schema that is designed Okay. this is our overall schema that is designed from this so this is how a simple fact and dimension is designed now only point remaining is what is the grain now if you see this grain is the grain for this table is simply at the date product store okay and customer so these are the information so this is the lowest level of atomicity okay these are the lowest level of atomicity so we are the grain for this is per day per product per store and per store. so the line item will have each line item will have one product information with one store information one customer information and for each date okay so that is how it is so this is the simplest fact and dimension that we can design for now this is now on the next courses what we'll do is we'll check what are the different type of facts and what are the different type of dimensions